Hey everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React Review channel. So today is the final day of my holiday in Gran Canaria. Um, last night I was really fortunate to meet some very, very close friends via Zoom to listen to all the songs from semi-final one. So this has become a bit of a legacy with me and my friends starting in Eurovision 2020, right? The, the year that never happened due to COVID. So yeah, me and Tom, who features in the video, um, we were working in India at the time and we were stuck in a really, very, very strict lockdown in Goa. And so we were trying to find multiple opportunities to meet people on Zoom. So well, this legacy started whereby um, us and other friends kind of get together and watch Eurovision over Zoom. So basically I hadn't recorded any sort of video about my kind of predictions of which songs I think from semi-final one will qualify. Um, I mean, that is obviously part and parcel of Eurovision T, which is still going. I know it's been a long time since episode two, it has been recorded. I promise you it's in the kind of production at the moment. Um, but I thought we're not that far away from semi-final one. So I thought I'll put something on my channel, which basically has my kind of predictions of what I think is going to happen in semi-final one, which songs are going to kind of escape into the final. So um, you will see that there are obviously chapters, use those chapters, because this is a long video. So in total, I think we were together for four hours. So how we did it is we listened to three, muted ourselves, and then after three songs, we would then talk about them. And then it was interesting to hear their perspective on the songs. And then once we'd listened to all of them, I then got them to predict which ones they think would go through and they pretty their criteria pretty much was the songs that they liked the most so do you use those chapters I've, I've made sure that i've chaptered this video because it's a long video so obviously there are after this introducing my friends and then there is basically a chapter for each one of the 17 songs where i get their kind of initial reaction after first listen and then obviously the final part of this video is when we go through the songs that we think will qualify so yeah, I think that's as much as I need to say in regards to introducing this video. Um, so firstly, we have Lila. Hello, I'm Lila. I would say that Shane and Tom, um, oh, sorry, I don't want to exclude you this, Ali, but Shane and Tom in particular <laughs> introduced me to your vision. But I've enjoyed it ever since with Sally. Wow. So, you know, it's, um, yeah, wow. that's how I got into your vision. Um, but... I yeah I love your vision I think particularly the past few years have been absolutely amazing and I think it's just like a really wonderful opportunity to like learn about music from different countries particularly being somebody from the UK where you don't really um ordinarily get to hear much music from outside the UK and the states so um yeah absolutely love your vision super excited for this year and thanks for inviting me to the party welcome Sally <laughs> okay so my name's Sally this is Oshan um, we have been watching Eurovision for many years, mainly with my dad, uh, but more recently with Tom and Shane and Lila, although she doesn't acknowledge me. Uh, <laughs> this is Oshin's second Eurovision. We watched it last year when he was a little baby, now he's one. So trying to keep him quiet, but he's enjoying the, uh, the tunes and the dancing. And uh, yeah, we're excited to see what, what is to come. Amazing. Tom? I did that. <laughs> Hey, I'm Tom. Um, yeah, I love Eurovision. Um, I think the first one that I really remember, I do remember bits of Gene G, but I remember very clearly 97, the last time the UK won. Um, that was a big moment. Um, in terms of Eurovision experiences with Shane, the first one I watched with Shane was at his party in 2009. Um, and then, yeah, I've been going to his parties uh, ever since. Um, we've had a few arguments when he hasn't uh, crowned me the winner of the fancy dress competition, even though I think I did have the best fancy dress, but um, <laughs> we don't bring that up much. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's, um, I think the good thing about Shane and that you've probably seen through his channel, he really introduces you to all those niche ones, the ones you've forgotten about. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've, I've learned more about the ones that don't make it through the semi-final to the big night. So uh, one of my favourites, Greece 2018, that happened to, uh, that happened to Paul, forgot their name now. <laughs> oh, I love Greece 2018, I absolutely, absolutely love, even though I can't remember <laughs> the name of it. Um, but yeah, so I think that's what I've learned through going to, and yeah, we used to go to like lots of nights in London 
uh, at the Royal Vauxhall Tavern and different places. Yeah. Right, okay, so Albania. We started off with Albania. So, Sally? I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, just my notes. I've forgotten it already. Oh, I liked it. I, oh, yeah, I do remember it. Yeah, with, like, the plaits. And it was quite kind of, like, Game of Thronesy video-wise. Um, I don't think it's a winner, I've got to be honest. I think the production values of the video and the dance routine probably were better than the song itself. Sally, we're all on the same page here. All we're asking is some just initial thoughts. Maybe three or four words yes. will come to your head. With this oh, four song. words. We're not, we're not at the stage better. where we, we think they're going to qualify yet. It's just <laughs> our gentle just... feeling. Of... So he Sally... didn't like it. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, I just thought it, there was like lots of um, filler in there. There wasn't like lots of singing. It was just it's lots of like... Shame. Huh? I agree with Tom. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised yeah. Tom said that. If we finished, right, like, after... At the end of the night, if we'd finished with that, I know Tom would be in that fr- uh, front room dancing. So maybe I'll go back to listen to it. I did say it was catchy, but um, yeah, I just found it didn't sort of... Uh, and I can't remember it now, so... Um, but maybe after a few listens, then, yeah, I don't know. What are your thoughts, Lila? Lila? Um, I concur with what's been said. I had a feeling when I was watching it, because it was kind of... Because it's like quite... There's quite a lot going on. I was like, I couldn't really, like, get... I didn't find myself, like, hooked in. But I was thinking as I was watching it, I probably need to go back and listen to this a few more times. And I think maybe once I'm, like, more familiar with it, it'll be more of a... So it's, not, it's not instantaneous. No, that's yeah. what I think. Well, that's I not... think, yeah, it's hard. To say. I, feel, I feel like I'm, I can't really say either way. Like, it hasn't blown me away, but I think it might be a grower. Well, that's not a good sign. So it means it's opening the show. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Actually. 16 songs are going to come after it. Mm. What's, what's weird, like, on the backstage gossip with that one, then? Um... Mm. Albania. Um, yeah. Pretty safe qualifier. Oh. Ah. She's an amazing live performer, high energy. Her vocals are on point. But if, if none of us are kind of, well, none of you guys are kind of loving it. Um, are you loving it then? I, yeah. I, Tom, I haven't said this. This is the year of ballads. There's a lot of slow songs this year. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah. yeah. Oh. We're not huge ballady fans here. We like yeah, the Fago like yeah. types, you know. You'll want, you'll want to revisit Albania later, trust me. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> um, so, okay, Latvia. So we'll start off with you, Tom. Second one, veggies. Yeah, oh, I didn't okay. like it. I thought it was a bit cringy. Um, just like, nah, not for me. Yeah, not Did a fan. You, so obviously I showed you the live version there and obviously a lot of the cursing was, swear, uh, was taken out. So that first live is infamous. Did you hear the word that got bleeped out or did you work out what it was? Uh, Instead of me, I eat veggies and... <laughs> so the, uh, whether they, they said that, that line in Madrid, um, a lot of people say that they probably will say it in Turin. Yeah, instead of me, I eat veggies and... My God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, um, yeah, it got, got. I was like, oh, it's very much like an educational, an educational like video. But then it was, yeah, a bit X rated. Um, oh, I enjoyed it. it. Obviously, wasn't listening carefully enough. <laughs> no, Tom, Tom, I'm, I'm with you. Like, it's not gimmicky. It, like, there is obviously a message there, but I think it's a bit too on the nose. I it's like a fun that. group of guys. Like, mm. yeah. And again, after a few drinks, I mean, like, imagine I could be like, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, eat your salads. Yeah, eat your salads. Um, Sally, so you said you, you liked it? Sorry, I Sally, thought I was on mute then. Um, so I really be- liked it. I thought it was funky. I thought there was energy. I loved it. But obviously, what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> well, none, none, of us, none of us know, really. Um, Osh, Osh loved it, didn't you? <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't um, like it. Okay. And then Lithuania. So Lila, Lithuania. I like Lithuania. I and I've heard, it's been on my, um, I didn't realise, I've heard it before. It's like come up on my like, play, my Deezer flow thing. Um, but yeah, no, I really like it. It's really good. I think she performs it really well as well. Catchy. Like I feel it's like instantly catchy. So yeah, loved it. Okay, Thomas. 
I wasn't too keen to start. I've thought like, oh, it's maybe a bit like trying too hard to be a bit kooky. Uh, but then towards the end, I really got into it and it really grew on me. So um, out of the three openers, that's definitely my favourite so far. <laughs> I didn't like it. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was, it, she reminded me of Cabaret with the hair and all that stuff. But I, yeah, I just thought it was, yeah. Okay. For me, when, 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 to win. When, when I make faces, it's because I'm like, oh, if I put this on my channel, like knowing what you're saying and how people are going to react to that, it's just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm get, like hate mail and like death threats. Yeah, it will be directed <laughs> towards me. You should just. I loved that. it. I I loved it. No, don't be so silly. Just honestly, be honest. Be honest. Be honest. Because that's actually at the end of the day what people want to hear. They just want to hear your honest opinion. Yeah, no, I, I knew Lila was going to like this. I think this is one of the acts this year that is definitely musically credible. I think this is a musically credible song. It used to be like Patricia Cass, wouldn't it? Where's that come from? <laughs> she just looked like her, I think, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Same look. <laughs> No, like anyway. honestly, honestly, I think same sort of style of performer as well. Okay, um, okay, so interesting thoughts, interesting thoughts. Uh, yeah. Okay, Switzerland, so, Switzerland, no, not at all. So overly sentimental, just like oh, the lyrics were just annoyed me. Okay, not for me. Uh, I really, sorry, I, was, I wasn't invited. I'm sorry, I should wait. But um, I was, I was, couldn't really hear the, I couldn't really hear the lyrics, I'll be honest. But I thought, um, for a ballad, I didn't mind it for like a slowy, but it was a bit kind of, I was like, it's kind of neither here nor there, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think after two very strong years from Switzerland, it's a letdown. Sal, Switzerland, Marys Bear, Boys Do Cry. She's on mute. <laughs> Sal! <laughs> Problem. Boys do cry. Testament right there. Boys there are, yeah. right now. So I I liked it. I did enjoy it. I thought quite Sam Smith, quite emotional. I like that. But I feel like, you know, yeah, with your vision, you expect a certain, you know, boom, 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 you know, epic. And was it epic? I'm not sure. It's it's not the winner for me. Um, you know, I was thinking the same thing. It's like if you do a ballad at Eurovision, then I feel like it should be epic. Yeah, yeah, it needs to be like, rise like a phoenix, you know. Second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's what we want in. To be honest, yeah. what, what you guys are saying is pretty much the feeling amongst um, Eurovision fans. It's, it, it's a song that doesn't really it's go anywhere. Soul. Um, no, no, okay, no. Slovenia. Um, I just said, yeah, not my genre. Maybe oh, good, yeah. but I just don't like that genre, you know. What genre? What genre would you put it in? That genre of like, um, what is the instruments? Like, Pop, yeah, kind of thing. real instruments. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just that kind of, uh, what, what, what genre would you call it? Oh, well, actually, Lila, you're the music person. What genre no. would you, what you say, Lila? No, I, d I don't know. I would say it's like kind of like a jazzy, poppy kind of. It's, yeah, like, it's very jazzy, pop, poppy. but like with like trying to be with like. Um, yeah. Although I did like that Moldovan one, which had a bit of a. Jazzy thing. Yeah, the trumpet, we weren't expecting. Yeah. <laughs> Lila, <laughs> Savinia. I think the same was top. It's not, it wasn't really my cup of tea, but I think it, and also, oh, I, I feel really, no, well, I feel really bad now because um, I don't want, like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be critical. But, you um, have to, so, uh, uh, Lila, no one. That's the thing with James uh, Channel. Got to be it's honest. cancel culture. I feel yeah. like, yeah, I know. I don't want to be cancelled. How famous are we going to be, Shane? I don't want not, to be famous. Not very, not very. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not really my cup of tea again, like, uh, as Tom said. Um, but I thought it was like, again, I feel like it, I feel like it might, it might be like one of those ones that gets stuck in your head, like after a few listens, like, um, and I think it was quite, quite well performed. I don't know if they're trying to be like a little bit cool. I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah, it's not. It's just not really my cup of tea. Anymore. Didn't like it. Paraphrase. <laughs> 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 tell it like it is. <laughs> just say it like it is. Yeah. 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 Really for me. Lila, stop beating around the bush. Just do a Sally. <laughs> so don't like it. I like it. <laughs> I liked it. See, I like. Oh. I. Oh, you're, I you're saying just tell. You're just saying to Lila, just say you just don't like it. They didn't like it. Yeah, if you don't like it, say you don't like it, Lila. If they cancel you. Just change your name and move out somewhere else. Do a shame. <laughs> but Sally, you liked it. So I always think 
when they sing in their own language, that's a, like a. Who is Italian? Great... You know? it's, no, it's okay, well, they sing, they're all singing in English. Let's just say that. So I always think when they don't sing in English, it's much more niche, isn't it? I know, I know the Italian rock band singing in Italian one last year, but that's quite unusual, isn't it? Like I don't think often uh, a non-English speaking song wins. Am I wrong here? Very wrong. Okay, cancel that bit out. <laughs> um, I mean they're a yeah. young band I think they're, they are actually a high school band LPS is, is the name It stands for Last Pizza Slice um, Yeah Shit, And this would have been useful oh. if you could have known this for each song Well I thought you were going to ask me questions About them Oh but... sorry okay. we should do that sorry. Um, Okay so yeah I don't think um, Yeah Slovenia is not rocking anyone's boats I don't think that's going to generally Except it's, if people aren't it, People don't um, think it's going to fine. qualify. Um, yeah, right, then let's move on to Ukraine, <laughs> Sally. Okay, right. Okay, so you might need to you might need to, need to not include this part, some of it. So I think Ukraine are probably going to win it. They're going to win, aren't they? Let's be honest. Yeah. I, I mean, I've said that quite a few times on my channel, so that's nothing new. Okay, so I think I think, but but having said that, I actually think it was a really good song. I think it mixes tradition. I think it's in their own language. I I, I don't speak Ukrainian. It mixes tradition, but with rap. I thought it was interesting. I enjoyed it. But it's just going to win because of what's happening, which I think is a shame because I think it could probably win or go far on its own merit. On its own merit. Yeah, I like those like ethnic -y ones. So I loved the chanty bit. I thought that mm -hmm. was amazing. Yeah. But then the rap for me let it down a little bit. So when I heard the kind of ethnic chants at the start, I was like, oh, I'm really excited for this. And then the rap came in. I just found it a little disjointed. I didn't think the two really merged together. Lila? Um, I think I love the like flute bit. I don't know what that instrument is, but that was really cool. I love that. Um, yeah, and I think I, I agree. I think like it's not like um kind of like your classic kind of like amazing solo singing performance, but I feel like it's like quite emotive. The like um like Tom said, like the 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 bit where they were singing. Mm. Those are the bits I preferred. Again, the rap, I think, I found, yeah, I think I found it a little bit jarring. But again, I think if I went back and like, maybe like got a bit more familiar with it, then yeah, I, I'd probably enjoy it more. But that is my favourite song so far. Um, yeah. Definitely. It's definitely my favourite so far. Oh, it's like, okay. Definitely the best. Okay. Yeah, definitely them. the best. I mean, Sally, I think you're right. I mean, I can't see it with everything going on how that's not going to win. But like you said, and like we've all said, it's a it's a really good song. And I don't want to say it's such a shame you said it. It's such a shame that it can't win on its own merits because that sounds really distasteful. But like it's it, it's a worthy winner if it wins, regardless, right? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, back on track, Bulgaria. It's not great oh, that no one can remember it. Lost yeah, me I can't remember it. I um I had high hope because it's not my typical kind of jam. Mm. But it started. I was like, oh, I'm quite enjoying this. And then I was like waiting for the big chorus, which mm. never came. And yeah, it was pleasant. Crazy. I went along with it, but as you said, I saw your notes slider about the safety zone. It was safe. Played it safe. <laughs> which for Bulgaria is quite rare because they normally serve. Yeah. yeah. This Remember was the first song we released this year as well. Uh, they should maybe have spent a bit more time over it then. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that in. Bulgaria will come after me. <laughs> <laughs> Sally? Uh, yeah, I didn't love it. I'm not going to lie. Not, I didn't love it. It's not going to be a win or anything. It's okay. The Netherlands. Go. Yeah. You need a drink. <sighs> yeah. Netherlands, Sally. Netherlands. Oh, the Netherlands. Oh, sorry. The Netherlands. Um, what did I write? Oh, I loved it. Yeah, beautiful. Very, yeah. very haunting, emotive. Um, I think she might do well, but not a traditional Eurovision winner, I don't think, but I enjoyed it. Okay, good, good. Lila? Oh, so great. Loved it. Absolutely mm. loved it. I just don't even know what else to say. I just thought it was brilliant. Uh, and you liked the Dutch? You liked singing in Dutch? Loved it. I, lo I, I love it when um, I love it when they sing in their own language. I, did, I don't know. Um, I did, um, uh, I've got a YouTube friend, uh, Vins, who's Dutch, and he's really kind of conscious that the Dutch language being sung might put people off, but you, it was... No, I love it. I always think it adds, like, mm. I don't know, and then I'll go off and I'm like, and particularly, like, if you hear a song, it's a different language and you love it, and you're like, uh -huh. wow, and, and then you go and look up the lyrics and you're like, 
I had that with Portugal. Um, I know you, I know Tom, you're not, you weren't a fan of this song, yeah. but the year Portugal won recently, I can't remember which year it was, but. 2017. Oh, it just made me cry. I like loved, I like, really liked it. And I looked at the lyrics and I was just a mess. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, um, that's cute. Well, that, uh, that's the power of music. Mm. Yeah. Thanks, Al. Um, and your vision. Put a, put a pin on that one for Portugal this year, by the way. Um, uh, Thomas? Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was really good. I loved how it, um, it like built and then it went back down to quiet at the end. I thought it was really, uh, yeah, just really stayed with me. That's one. I made a little note that I'm going to watch it again after this. That's the first one that I've really wanted to watch again so far. Mm-hmm. So, beautiful uh, voice yeah. as well. She's got a beautiful voice. Yeah, it was really good. I'm enjoying this. This is really good insight. Okay, good. So what what what's your like word about Netherlands then? Um, okay, so Netherlands is always is, is has become like a powerhouse at Eurovision. People are really, always really excited to see what they produce. Um, I think a lot of people were surprised that it was in Dutch. Um, I think we're all pleasantly surprised in Dutch. If you translate the lyrics, you were talking about how amazing lyrics are, Lila. Like the lyrics of this are amazing. She wrote it herself. Um, uh, it, it's it's right in the middle for me. It's like my nineteenth, twentieth. I think. It, oh. I think it's a very very strong year. I will say, and well, mm-hmm. what you've heard so far wouldn't testify to that. But it's a very very strong year. Um, it's. I think betting's put it in top ten. Um, and I think the Netherlands are very excited about this, regardless of how she does. I think the Netherlands are very excited that they're sending a song in Dutch. Yeah, I think so, that's good. And she has got a lot of momentum behind her in the Netherlands. I think they're quite excited to see how she does. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. Um, okay, so Moldova, Thomas? Oh, Moldova. I've said jolly, very jolly. I could see you singing along to it, bopping along there. You were loving it. <laughs> but it wasn't for me. I mean, it's, yeah, it's cute. It's cute. It's like one of those, um, you know, I don't want to say novelty, um, but, you know, I, I just, yeah. Did you get from the music video the political undertones of this song? No. <laughs> Um, it really, really is important as of, of today as well, what I saw in the news. Oh, uh, no. I mean, I wasn't paying lots of attention, so uh, maybe I should have. So, Jane, educate us. He's got massively in my head. And when I was watching it, I was like, I know this is about something, but I'm too ignorant to know what it's it, about. It, it's, it's not a deliberate political song, but basically, and, and I respect it. So the whole video is, and they talk about Bucharest quite a lot, which is the capital of which country? Romania. Yeah. So a lot of the song is basically acknowledging Moldova's or the Moldovan feeling about their allegiance to Romania rather than Russia. And what I saw in the news today, that is very poignant. Um, But yeah, but it's jolly. Um, Some people would say that it's kind of uh, a kind of gimmicky thing. I I don't think it's gimmicky, but um, this band has done Eurovision twice before. Um, and both times qualified, both times came top 10. So they've got a very, very good track record. Like, so Sh- Sh- is there no rule about that? You can you, you can enter as many times as you wanted in your vision as an artist. Yeah, Johnny Logan won twice from Ireland. Oh yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> But like, there's been quite a few people that done it twice. Dana International did it twice. That lady did it twice. Carla Pirelli. <laughs> I've got a There's a few ladies that done it twice, isn't there? I was thinking of um, Tamar. Is she called Tamara from North Macedonia? Yeah, she did it more than once. She did it twice. Yeah, she did it in 2008 with a band, and then she came back and did Proud. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm Proud. Right, we didn't actually, we, we, we segued off Moldova. Did everyone give their thoughts on Moldova? So, I mean, I'm not, an, I'm not an expert on Moldovan traditional music, but I thought maybe that was like traditional, is it? <laughs> so I thought that was a nice nod to their heritage. Um, so anyway, Moldova, no one obviously wants to say much more else about. Um, okay, so Portugal, Croatia and Denmark. Okay, and Portugal, like Portugal Croatia. Yeah. I've got them loaded. Awesome. Okay. Ready to go. I say, I, I'll, I'll start. 
I thought Portugal, like, beautiful. I would buy that, like, as a non-Eurovision, you know, I, I genuinely... Okay, yeah, it was it was slower than maybe, you know, maybe I would want, but oh, I thought it was beautiful. But, whoa! <laughs> I would buy that. Can you he's agree fine, that? He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> he's fine. Thomas? So I thought Portugal was cute, but it just didn't wow me. I was like, pleasant, nice voices, but I wasn't, I wouldn't listen to it again. <laughs> uh, what? Mm. Tom, Croatia? I thought that'd be right in the street. Yeah. No, Croatia, Croatia was my fave out of those. Croatia you, no, 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 we're not on Croatia yet, we're on Portugal, so. Oh, sorry. It didn't go anywhere though. Croatia was boring. I was like, where is it? Where's it going to go? Stop talking about Croatia. <laughs> Portugal. Portugal. I mean, honestly, I don't have much to say about it. As I said, it just like. So da do. So da. Um, that song, like, on a serious note though, um, you might actually get hate mail and you might need to change your name after that because. Um, the Portuguese are very passionate about this song. Um, Hate mail from me. <laughs> well, maybe I'll get, maybe I'll li- I'll listen to it again. Um, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Like you either jive with the song or you don't. But like, yeah. um, ah, oh, so many people have like commented on my YouTube channel about the meaning of Sordad. Like, Lila, do you know the meaning of Sordad? You've been to Portugal. Yeah, I thought it was like a greeting, <laughs> but in its second year university as well. Yeah, but it was, I, yeah, oh my god, though. Like, um, the I mean, like, the meaning I like, trans- salad, saladish, saladish. but the meaning, the meaning doesn't translate. And I thought I knew the meaning, and a lot of people said, no, that's not it. Um, the song is about her granddad, I think it is, who died of COVID. It's about, it's, it, it's a word that communicates, I thought, grieving, like deep, like pain in here. But then someone else has said, no, it's, it, it means something else as well. It, like, uh, like there's an undercurrent, I think, within that language. It just like connects. Oh. Like Portugal are so proud of this song. It's really good. I loved it. He's reminded me of when- What were you gonna um, say before I said that though, Lila? <laughs> Oh, about so I, thought it was like, I said that, and you were like, and I loved it. <laughs> well, no, so it's because I'm looking. It's because I'm looking at because I, I was looking up. <coughs> I might have made it. Um, so so Lila, Portugal, loved it. Loved it. I thought it was really, really good. Really, oh. good. So yeah. I was really like um, yeah, that I really tugged up my heart heartstrings. Oh. I did. One, I did wonder if it was about somebody who passed away from the uh, English verse. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was lush. Really liked it. Yeah. Um, okay, Croatia then. Lila? Time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think my thing with Croatia is I think actually it was like quite a good song. Mm-hmm. But I just don't know. Really, It didn't really like... And I think probably following Portugal, I was like, it didn't really like move me. Um, it was just a bit like... It was just nice, you know? But I mean, she's got a great voice. She sang it really well. It's just like the song is just not really my... Didn't really do anything for me. Okay, Sal. I agree. I feel like you know, it, I really enjoyed it for the first kind of <laughs> first thirty minutes, thirty seconds. I really enjoyed it, and I was like, okay, what next? What next? And then it kind of just never progressed for me. And okay. I think that was my problem with it. It, it was kind of one dimensional. Don't I don't want I don't want any hate mail, but I think it it just, it just didn't progress for me. Okay, that's fine. Be honest, Thomas. And to follow to follow Portugal. So I think those three were really, you know, if if you played me that before, yeah. what was the first yeah. Bulgaria? I'd have been like, oh, that was fantastic. Yeah. But where it it came in the listing, nah. Well, th- this is the order that it's going to be in semi final one, so that's quite important then. Okay, yeah. um, Thomas. Yeah, I liked it. I thought it was good. Um, I can imagine listening to it again. Thought it was quite sort of catchy. The chorus. Um, so I quite liked it, but yeah, saying that in a few to- few songs time, will I remember it? I don't know. Let's wait and see. Um, can can anyone name the contemporary kind of popular artist that people are comparing this to? Taylor Swift. Sorry, yeah, I was getting kind of. T- I was yeah, I was getting 
Apparently, apparently it sounds very similar to I, I've still not heard this tale. I didn't listen to Taylor Swift. Um, but apparently it sounds very similar to another Taylor Swift. <laughs> Um, but yes, um, no, it's, it's a cute song. I think it's borderline qualifier. I think there are people that really like it, and there's people that are saying it's so so. Um, and then Denmark, Thomas, it really got on my nerves. It reminded me of like Saved by the Bell when they put like a band together. Um, yeah, it was terrible. I really did not like it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't inflict it on me again, yeah, please. Tom, Sorry, then... people, Denmark. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sally. Yeah, I quite enjoyed it because I thought I I didn't expect it to go into kind of like a. It started off quite slow, quite <clears throat> emotional, and then became like a rock, more of a rocky track, which I wasn't expecting. And I personally, Tom, celebrated <laughs> seeing a, a female band performing. The seeing a female band performing to me that was like wow look at that you know a female drummer how often do you see that but you go sister you play those drums um, <laughs> i like to support a sister you know that's just me <laughs> lila <laughs> hate mail tom dot edwards at hotmail <laughs> <laughs> send your hate mail directly to thomas <laughs> The Danish people are very nice people, so I don't think we can do that. Yeah, you've Mastering been to Copenhagen. But Lila and Tom, you've both been there together. Right, yeah, Lila, yeah. can't get segued. Uh, Lila, Denmark? Um, I really, um, oh no, I was going to say I really enjoyed it, but I really didn't. I, um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, again, I, like, I'm really impressed by the performances, I have to say. I think like, all the performances are really good, really strong. Again, it's just not my kind of thing. I was like, kind of like, I was um, really surprised. Wasn't expecting it to go like to change into more like of a rock song. And it also went from being like quite mournful to being quite upbeat and like quite defiant. So that's quite cool. But um, it's just not my cup of tea. But I feel like it was really well performed um, and very catchy. So I feel like if you like if you like that kind of song, then I feel like you would really like that song. But it's just not my kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it's not rock. It's not rocking any boats with Eurovision fans. Um, I do like the nod to, um, I've said a few times on my Eurovision channel, Lena, 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 is it? 99 Red Balloons. It gives me that sort of vibe. Lena. Lena, yeah. I actually think um, after the whole weekend in Madrid, like no one is talking about this song. Everyone is agreeing this might be like the bottom of this semi-final. But seeing it live and meeting them, like, I, I think it's probably more of a want for them to do well. Um, but I think what people shouldn't sleep on, and Sally said it, um, it is really empowering to see an all-female band. I'm so sorry. Austria. Yeah. Um, I feel like this is, like, a really good addition to the lineup, mm -hmm. Just because like, I think this is more, like, what I kind of... This is generally what I kind of look forward to in Eurovision. Mm -hmm. Um and I think it was a really good song. I just I was sort of take, trying to get out of con like out of context and thinking like, would I like it if I just sort of heard it on the radio reg normally? And I'm not, and that kind of made me think that I don't know if it's kind of like best example of its genre. Mm -hmm. But I still think it was good. I think it like is kind of like a welcome addition to the songs that we've heard. Um, so it's kind of like middle middle for me. Um, but yeah, no, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Okay, Thomas. Yeah, I was thinking very similar things. Um, <clears throat> just in terms of the genre, this is what I, you know, come to Eurovision for. And it's these songs that, you know, I enjoy, like when we're out dancing and stuff like that. So because we haven't had anything like it this year so far, I looked upon it very favourably. But then as Lila said, you know, if I took it sort of, looked at it within the kind of group of songs that are like this from previous years, would it stand out to me? I'm not sure, but I think it's needed in this year, in this year's collection, because there's nothing really like it. So uh, I will definitely be listening to it again. And I think that's one that I will go back to. So, uh, so yeah, enjoyed. Wise words, Sal. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I, I think that's the thing for me. Like, I come to Eurovision for a certain type of sound, and I have not heard it so far. Sorry, I shouldn't think it. I haven't heard it so far, and I think that was it for me. I was like, this is what Eurovision is, 
And as lovely as all the like beautiful songs and everything is have been. <laughs> So yeah, we enjoyed yeah. it, didn't we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> I had a tea during it, and he very much enjoyed it. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Right, Sally. We'll keep with you then. Iceland, three sisters. No. Uh, less so. I think. Um, Again, like a very beautiful song. No, I didn't love it. Yeah. I thought like, I think with a lot of the songs this year, they've been, you know, very beautifully written, beautifully performed, but just kind of hit, missing the mark a bit for me a bit, I think. Lila. Oh, I loved it. I really liked it. I thought it was really, really good. I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was really atmospheric. <laughs> and then I did kind of cheat a bit. I was looking at some of the comments. Okay. Um, and um, was reading a bit like what the lyrics, about what it was about, or mm-hmm. potential meanings from the uh, from the, one of the sisters, one of the singers, uh-huh. um, and I was like, oh yeah, no, that's really giving me like, I can like kind of see it, I can like see it in my mind's eye, and um, yeah, I just thought it was beautiful. I thought it was really good. Like, I I just feel like um, it kind of, it, I mean, I, I probably I'm not qualified to say this, not knowing much about the countries themselves, but like, I feel like you get a little glimpse into, uh, like, I don't know. Something about a country that you might not, I don't know, what did I have to say it? But I just I just was getting Iceland from the song. Yep. Um and um yeah, no, I loved it. I thought it was be- beautifully sung as well. Um, really enjoyed. Good words. Thomas. I wasn't loving it to start with. I was a bit bored, um, not gonna lie, but I do think it did progress as the song went on. And like by the end, I found myself kind of getting carried along with it. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's not one that I would particularly say I loved, but at the same time, yeah, it, it went somewhere for me and and I got more into it as the song went on. Like, I think if you are into music, like I'm, like, we're all, like Sally said it, like we tune into Eurovision for certain sound, like I'm a bit more eclectic than sound. Like she obviously just wants like the gutter trash Euro pop, which we all love, right? Um, but like, I do think this is a really, really credible song. And I met them and they're lovely. Um, they are lovely. So I am a little bit biased. Right, Greece, Tom, your favorite favorite country you profess so many times. I do love Greece. I love Greece as a country. And I just think they've got such a wonderful... Like, yeah, just sort of history and everything like that. So I just thought that song would have probably been so much better if it was sung in Greek because, like, the video was really Greek uh, on the boat and everything like that. So, um, yeah, I was just a bit like, oh, it would have probably meant more to me if it was being sung in Greek. Um, Like my favourite, as we know, from 2018, but that didn't qualify. So maybe that's why they're going for the English because they want to... Uh, it to resonate with a wider audience. But for me, yeah, I don't know. As you said, the Greek people are very forthright in their views. So I'll probably get a lot of abuse and hate mail to my email inbox that Sally has very kindly. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, maybe don't post that one. But um, yeah, those are my thoughts. Those are my views. <laughs> Yeah, I I find it really hard. Like some like sometimes with songs like these, so I'm probably like oversimplifying it. But like with the, like the slower songs, I kind of like separate them into like ones like Iceland, for example, um, or maybe Portugal that we'd like seen before, or maybe like a bit more kind of um, maybe like well that kind of like acoustic, more more maybe like folky kind of vibe, um, and then these like big powerful ballads, and like both sometimes both of them kind of like really get me. Um, but I can never put my finger on what it is. So like, I would compare, maybe I'd compare Greece to something like, I don't know, maybe like like Duncan Lawrence Arcade or something like that. And I I couldn't, I can't really tell you why, but it just didn't grab me. Greece just didn't grab, like, it didn't do it for me. And also the beginning, that is, that um, voice thing, it just always makes me think of Imogen Heap. And I can't really... Like, I was just about to say, but I love Imogen Heap. Yeah, I like. I think it's amazing, but then I think it just detracts because of the, that's like I wasn't really paying. I was just thinking, oh, this sounds so much like Imogen Heap. Like, I couldn't really appreciate it as a, like for like as for what it was in its own right. You're gonna break a lot of Greek hearts here, but what you're saying, you've already said like this is the semi-final one, right? So we've mm-hmm. had 
slow songs wise we've had croatia we've had portugal we've had iceland like they can't all get through right yeah yeah no i know and it's, it's different like it is it is like that big it's a big kind of powerful slow song like you know like it's got punch but it just doesn't didn't get me in the gut you know like i, yep. I, I, I can't really tell you why because there's nothing wrong with it well sal we can do you then so um greece I liked it. I really liked it. I thought the lyrics were really beautiful. I thought it was kind of a, a really simple, quiet, uh, beautiful song. Uh, you know, not what I think is traditionally Eurovision. I know that I'm, uh, my horizons are being broadened today, but I think it was a beautiful song, regardless of Eurovision. Okay. Great words. So, first of all, Norway, Lila. Um, okay, right, Norway, uh, Norway, Norway, Norway. Yeah, um, actually, it was like a really good song, but just like then, like actually, it could have been like not a novelty song if it didn't have novelty lyrics. So yeah, no, I liked it, and I think it'll go through. Yeah, it's again probably in the middle for me. Okay, Tom, I really liked it. I thought I, I think as I said in my comments, I put it in the same category as the salad one, and just thought as a song with kind of those sort of lyrics like this one just kind of had a bit more about it it was it was kind of more memorable um I quite sort of enjoyed it I quite enjoyed the dance moves as well um yeah I really enjoyed it I liked it okay so yeah I agree I think that I feel like the costumes and the production I was like that side of things and I feel like that elevated it but I thought the song was good the lyrics, the banana and grandma, I didn't get that. But does that matter? I thought it was fun. And does banana and grandma, my, my comments were deleted, but does banana and grandma rhyme? You were sent things now. Huh? You put your you comments in my it. column. Of course I deleted it. <laughs> What's that called, Tom? It's a half rhyme, no? Yeah, I would say half. Would you say the half rhyme, Lila? Oh, don't, don't I, I think you're better qualified. Oh, God, I don't know. I'd defer to you. I'd say well, half Sally, you both have English degrees. Lila, what's your degree in? French and Spanish. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I know nothing, but I, I, I didn't quite get what it was about, but I enjoyed it. And I think Norway yeah. often tries to be quite left field. And maybe the song wasn't left field, but the costumes... <laughs> Shane's, eye, Shane's eyes are like, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Was it the year they did the um the, the heavy metal song? Finland, hard rock, hallelujah, wrong country. Oh, okay, wrong country, but you know, I'm in the right area. Um, anyway, their identity is anonymous, Subwoofer. Could you l- hear a particular voice that we're all quite familiar with? It's so oh, obvious. No, no. It is, um, famous. I'll give you a few clues. It's uh, a boy band member, Harry Styles. No. Yeah, right. Um, there are four people in the band. Blue. We're, ask, we're, we're asking for an identity of a name of a person, not the band. Yeah, but let's get the, the band first. One of the band members is Norwegian. Um, A1. Oh, ah, yeah. Ben. Ben Adams. ben Adams. Ben Adams. Yeah. Has he, not... has he aged badly, though? Is that why he's got a, he- a hat on, like a fake mask on? Because he was always my favourite, Ben. He needs some of Shane's serum. What's it called? Ordinary. The Ordinary. Ordinary. Um, ordinary. Yeah, hold on a bit. Plug, 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 plug. This one. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Babe, is your that... shirt getting more and more undone as the night goes on? <laughs> I'm seeing more chest. <laughs> no. No. I love you. it. <laughs> Good. Um, You're glowing, Shane. I have to say, your face is gorgeous. Like, yes. oh, it's, it's product placement. <laughs> um, okay, and then Armenia, Tom. Oh God! I said, don't get me started. I said, I'm just done in this semi-final. I mean, I haven't really listened to many of the songs this time, um, but there's a lot of folky, like just not kind of the sort of stuff that I would really go for. Um, yeah, I, I want more that I could dance to, more that I could up-tempo. I want something up-tempo. Um, and when I just heard it start, I was like, oh, 
just feels like we've been there so many times during the semi-final. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Lila? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm annoyed with it because it came last and it was like, oh, uh, if it had come earlier on, I might have been like, oh, I really like this one. But I don't know. A lot, a lot of people thought Norway was going to end the semi-final. So we were all quite surprised Armenia's ending it. I think they're going to deliver something amazing in staging. Armenia won junior Eurovision. So I think they're putting a lot of money behind this. Mm. So we'll see. Lila? Um, uh, yeah, it's not my cup of tea. Again, like I, I can, I, I'm okay with a slow song if it's got something. It's, it's just, it's just too much like a song that you might hear anywhere. Really, it didn't really give me anything. Okay. But I mean, but again, like we. Should, you should like your Messi or something because you seem personally like wounded by these attacks. <laughs> It's it's He's my second it's my second favorite song of the whole year. But anyway, <laughs> you're gonna say it's my second person. <laughs> <laughs> say that again. I thought you were gonna say it's my second cousin. <laughs> it's my second cousin. No, 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 no. Right, Sally, Sally, Sally. I mean, so my comments were deleted again, but I thought it was quite Mumford and Sons esque. I thought that kind of. Um, Singer, songwriter, play your guitar. I enjoyed it, but obviously, as you all know, I have preconceptions of, around what a Eurovision song could be. It didn't meet those preconceptions, but I enjoyed it as a song on its on its own. Okay, ready? Mm. Okay, so let's just go through the songs and the songs that we think are going to qualify through. Um, you've got France is one of yours, but France automatically qualifies. Who did that? What dumb person did that? Ale, <laughs> change it quick. <laughs> No, I knew, I knew that was the case, but I thought it was, I knew Grey simplified, they were one of the um, top five, you know, the, who put the money in, but I, but I still thought I would choose it if it was an option to choose. It's I didn't not. know I chose 11 anyway, I miscounted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so have you rectified the situation? Oh no, I didn't know you were taking it that seriously, but I, okay, I will, I will rectify, hang on one moment. Okay, so let's go through the semi-final one song. So Albania, we're pretty much in sync. So Tom, me, and Lila think it's going to qualify. Sally, you don't think it's going to qualify? Oh, so I'm, I'm not me. Um, I mean, it probably will, but it's, it's, it's not my personal favourite. Okay. Interesting. Um, but also sticking with you, Latvia. It's Latvia. I called you Latvia. <laughs> Sal? Um, you think Latvia is going to qualify? Yeah, I, I do what I think it was enjoyable. Um, and I thought it was funky, so I think there may be some fans of it out there. Okay. And like Tom said, it was well performed but cheesy. Okay, oh, no, that was Lila. <laughs> do you, do that curiosity after Norway, do you think people are going to forget Latvia? Yeah, I, I see yeah. you're saying no way. There is a similarity. I do, I do hear you on that one. But I yeah, right, them. maybe uh, okay. Maybe in the bigger picture, yeah. But right, Lithuania. Uh, uh, Lila, uh, you're on your own on this one. Ah, uh, yes, I am. Um, yeah, to be honest. So, like, I liked it, but and I and I do. It is still in my top ten, but it's probably it's definitely not. It's like one of my lower top ten. Mm -hmm. um, and what is it about the song that you like? Um, I really like. So I like the performance. I think she like really gives it all. all and she like I don't know. She just delivers the song really really well. Um, I think she's got a great voice, and I think it's quite unusual. So I think it'll stand out and garner votes in that way. Okay. Cool. Um, well, Switzerland, I'm the only one that's put Switzerland through. Um, I saw it in Madrid, and there's just something about this song. I know a lot of people are saying it's sleepy. Sleepy songs have qualified before. If it's sung well and there's really clever staging behind it, then I think it will be fine. Um, Slovenia, Sally is going completely off piece. Slovenia, I like Sally. it. I mean, yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought it sung well. I think it might surprise you. Surprise me personally. Surprise you, Shane, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You never know. Yeah, none of us put it through. Um, okay, we've all put Ukraine through. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, that's definite, yeah. Yeah. Um, no one put Bulgaria through. Mm. We all put Netherlands through. Does anyone want to add anything on Netherlands? I just said, go, going back over this, I think this was my fave, one of my faves. Yeah, mm. really, really like it. Really good. Probably my fave. Yeah, I put a little number one by it. Mm. Interesting. Um, next, um, Moldova. I think we're very British with Moldova. I think a lot of people would just sleep on this. But Tom, no Moldova? I said jolly, but not for me. So I just said no. I went rogue and I've put one through that no one else has done. Okay. So thinking about it, Moldova probably will go through, but I preferred this other song, which we'll come on to in a moment. Right, Portugal. We've all said Portugal's going through. Yeah. Didn't like it, but it probably will go through. Yeah. For me, Portugal and Ukraine are the, are the top two in this category. Right, so next, Tom, is this the one that you went off piste? Yeah, I really liked Croatia. Croatia. I thought it was cute. I like Croatia. Uh, I'll go back to it. Are the odds, is it likely to qualify or no? In my personal opinion, I literally, I cannot decide for that 10th place, Croatia or, or, or Austria. Like, it, for me, if, if Croatia qualifies, it's borderline. I don't think anyone's seeing it quite there. But for me, I think it's Austria or Croatia for that last 10th place. So it's my 11th place. So it could easily, I could be with you equally. I hear you. I could see it going through. I could see it going through. Yeah. Mm. It's definitely not, I'm definitely like it won't go through. Um, none of us are thinking Denmark's going through. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. E not with that. Dalian, you were advocating for them earlier. What happened, girl? Well, you can only have ten songs. Like, like it's just I, I, I am advocating them because I don't, don't think anyone should sleep on this song. I think it's a great I said song. Sally, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I celebrate that there is an all-female band. <laughs> the Sal is not in your top ten. It didn't quite make it, but I, I still celebrate. A female band, yeah. She celebrates a female drummer, but not enough to put it not in that top much. <laughs> I know that much. <laughs> she? If we rewound to what you were saying earlier on, it was like... Tom <laughs> Edwards got hotmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> That's not actually your email address, is it? No. <laughs> it's like well, he does have tomedwards.hotmail.com. <laughs> We're going to get a oh, lot of hate. That's just not an email address. <laughs> right. Austria. 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 We all say Austria's going through. Uh, yeah. We needed it. We needed it. I think it was yes, good. Yes. What do you I say? You think it might be tense, so though. I thought that was a... Uh... I have a bit more hindsight than you guys do. I've seen it live. Ah, uh, right. yeah. Are you, are you never a bit worried about a kind of a dance number sung live? <laughs> now I, I am. Mean, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, just out of curiosity, before I said that, where would you rank Austria in your top ten? See, because we didn't have much like it, I didn't put Sally towards the top. Yeah, same. But actually, I can't really. I remember the general vibe, but I can't really remember it. But um, yeah, this is the thing. Yeah, this is. I it... think they were the best. Ukraine, P Portugal, and Austria. They were my, the ones that I would say, yes. Mm. So Sally's added in a third one there. Yeah, you... so, yeah. <laughs> yes, added in a third one. <laughs> and the girls from Denmark, who she didn't put in the top ten. Yeah. <laughs> I saw. I saw. <laughs> they'll, be, they'll be coming for you, babes. They'll be coming for you. <laughs> and I, as I, I've said, I've met them. They're lovely. Uh, they won't come for you, but... Um, um, I've met their management team. They will. <laughs> Dem Denmark will. The whole of Denmark will come and get me. They'll be singing Catty Wolf's song from 2011. What about my dreams? They'll sing that to you. Mm. Why? Because <laughs> she's ruined their dreams. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what about my life? What about my dreams? So Iceland. This is this is the interesting one, which I'm quite interested in. Um, because I love, I do love, I do love this song. Tom, you've got this going through, and Lila, you've both got this through. Mm. I liked I it. Think, I didn't think Tom ah initially, but built building. Yeah. Yes, sorry, yeah. Lila and Tom. Lila, let's go to you first. Ice is going through because I have to be honest, because I like it. 
But um, <laughs> the problem is that I just think like there's there's a few songs maybe that like so I would so if I had to choose between Iceland, so I'd put it in a similar category to Portugal and Netherlands. I don't know if Iceland would come out on top, so I don't know whether it's accurate really to say it'd be in the top ten. But it was in my top ten favorite songs. Mm-hmm. I do think it's really good. That's fine. I didn't. I did. To be fair, my criteria of this was not clear. No, I, don't worry about it. It's very hard. To, even even so, I probably still would have put it through. Okay. And Thomas, Iceland's going through because. In all honesty, um, there weren't loads that I loved. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, <laughs> Best of a bad bunch, is that what you're saying? <laughs> I, you know, like, I was reading my comments and I said, well, I've said it's not wowing me, pleasant, actually starting to build, like it. So I just thought, well, if I wrote that, stand by what I wrote. So, um, you know, put it through. Because uh, I was going up the list and those early ones, I really wasn't a fan. So uh, that's why it's through. Sorry, sisters from Iceland. It's not a glowing endorsement, but you're there. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, my best of the bad bunch um, comment because I feel like that's going to rile a lot of people. No, I, no, 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 not at all. Like the Icelandic uh, Eurovision fans are really, really chilled. Um, I actually really like a lot of songs from this uh, semi final. It's just a very unusual mix. Like it's not what I was expecting. Yeah. I just enjoy those more faster paced ones. We we all do, we all do. But when I think yeah. when the house like even like uh, even um uh, San Marino last year, right? We uh, Adrenalina, like it didn't mm. do that well. Yeah, like, yeah. I think there were so many songs like that. There's so many good songs like that last year, and Adrenalina mm. probably and good it. songs that we love. But I think when I think <laughs> countries are now starting to get kind of with it, being like. Yeah, these, these are Euro, just, Euro fan favourites, but they don't yeah. actually deliver the goods. Yeah, but I think more the, mainstream. Yeah, this year though, like Maniskin, you heard that and you were like, oh, there's something about it. This year, there's not like bangery ones, but then there's also not many of those that I'll say, oh, actually, there's something about this that I'm intrigued or. You've not heard, you've only heard half the song. Yeah, I'm just going on semi one. Yeah, I think I think they're they're more kind of yeah like what a, what a traditional like management company would put out rather than to me they're, they're not what I want from Eurovision. Well, Sal, you we know, established much, like, that. You, you want Scooch, you want Buckley's, <laughs> and you want Nicky Uh huh. Uh-huh, yeah, these are all very much like mainstream like pop charts. You know, they're, they're, they're to get places in the charts and sell records rather than be fun and like outrageous and but I think that's what's happened to the contest I think the contest has moved on now and I think in the UK we need to change our mentality and I and that's why and I, I haven't moved on I, I think we're starting to now realize what Eurovision is about I haven't moved on Shane I'm, I'm still 1987 <laughs> <laughs> for those golden years so we all said um oh, right okay Greece we've all said Greece Greece yeah. Greece going through I think that's classic Eurovision Greece. Exactly. You guys are really lukewarm with Greece. Yeah, yeah it's true. So I like Greece. Yeah, it'll get through, I think. I think so too. Well, why are we also look? Everyone was so excited about the other ones they put through. Why are you not so excited about this one? I just think it's formulaic. It's a bit formulaic. Formula- for yes, that's the thing. But it does. It, it's got. It's got the like the big. It's got like the big show stopping moments that I think go down well in your why why'd you guys put it through then because the, i would say it's a bit slim pickings babe <laughs> <laughs> i genuinely I I like, liked it that's how you I would really define like if, if you're saying semi two is going to be a lot better this to me was a bit you know just looking down the list it was like well i wasn't mad on it but i've got to put 10 through yeah, I think there's three songs that I love, and then the rest I am a bit neither here nor there on. Okay. Norway. Yeah. So we've all put Norway through. I put this one through with enthusiasm, if that helps. <laughs> yeah, ben's May 1. We all like Ben's May 1. Yeah, I'm surprised about that, Tom. I didn't think this would be a cup of tea. Oh, yeah. Had, no, like, but before you watch this tonight, had you guys, did you guys know anything about Norway and their entry? No. no. So when you were watching that video, what was your initial thoughts? I like mask. (laughs) (laughs) 
What? <laughs> I, I, I like masks. What sort of answer is that? I think it's quite clever how to, you know, the, some of the hand movements and stuff like that and how it uh, sort of, yeah, like relates to performing in masks. So I thought it was quite good. Well, I thought they got across like the characters really well. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I just I, I really think it's very clever, is. like performing in mask and conveying like emotions and you Why, you, why do you keep saying mask? No, <laughs> what are you talking about? Like you're talking about like some sort of serious song, like it's really good mask, conveying emotions. Like it's a really good mask. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you chatting about? <laughs> see, see your thing. I was just like, I was intrigued watching it. I was like, oh, I'm into this. <laughs> oh, you now, know. I, I don't have to go, I'm afraid. Someone's very tired and ready. Lovely to see you, Sally. I, I know, I do. Yes, yeah, sorry. Just, uh, we, we can't do much more. We've done very well three hours, but no more. Bless it. been nearly four hours. He's done really well, hasn't he, babe? Done really so well. Good. What a cutie. Oh, bless Sally, you. We're done, uh, we're done. Fi final thoughts on Norway? <laughs> I love Norway, love the outfit, love Ben May one, love bananas and grandmas. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we've got to go with... Uh, Lila. Yeah. Um, I just was not sure. I just you know, I was just a bit like, I didn't really know what to make of it, to be honest. Well, what about the mask? <laughs> 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 I don't know. I was like, is there a message? Like, what is this trying to convey? It, wasn't really sure, but, um, it was over my head, really, I think. Artistic. Did the masks correlate with the emotion of the song? Mm. Do you know what? It was giving me, it was kind of giving me like, this is what I really liked about the Roop and Discotheque, in that it was kind of a bit, a little bit novelty, but it was still like a really great song. Mm. But I feel like this is too much on the edge of novelty for me. Okay. So, Armenia. Lila, you didn't put it through. Mm, um, oh, gosh, I feel so bad saying negative things, but it was just forgettable for me. Um, but, like, Lila, we, we we grew up with the same music, with the same age range, right? Like, so Amy McDonald and... Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's Amy McDonald when he was just like... So, Lila, you don't think it's going to qualify? It could do. I re it's just really hard. Like, it's really hard to like because 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 how do the semis work? Do you do you just pick one act if you're voting? Yeah, yeah. Ryan's going. Ryan, do you want to pop on the video and just say bye bye? Hi. Here we go. I've got it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I don't think it's as good as that. <laughs> it's just never my bag. It's just not my thing. Like, um, no, but it's really, it's really hard. Like, you know, yeah. Do people get one vote in the in the semis? You vote your favorite. You yeah. asked that already. The answer is yes. Yes. Yeah, sorry, right. So yeah, I would say. <laughs> <What should I? laughs> that was fair enough. Look, I know I had. I did ask him. I did. I did listen to the answer. Um. Yeah, so then it's like, you know, presumably it's going to be 10 quite different songs or, or not. I don't know. Like I, One would assume, like, if, if, if songs are very similar, then it should divide votes, right? So yeah. that's what I'm saying to you. When you've got Portugal, you've got Iceland, you've got Armenia, you've got Croatia, you've got Greece. These are all kind of like low tempo numbers, right? Mm. It's that thing between, like, it's not a melancholy. I wouldn't say it's like a melancholy song, particularly. I, I mean, it's like a quite Saying one, two... Where are you? Am I thinking of the same song? Yeah, I cannot remember <laughs> that. <laughs> I think you sang it very upbeat, Shane, or we're talking about different songs. <laughs> I love that. I just, Where I've, are told you. <laughs> I've told you it's my like second favourite song. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I should go back and listen to it, evidently. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's not going to go through, but who would I? I don't. But you know, I don't think I don't know who is not going to go through really. Um, you know, like I don't think there's any bad songs. Like there's not any songs that I'm like, oh, that's just really blah. But that's not the question, Lila. You're just saying you just don't think it's going to qualify. 
Um, it might qualify, but it's not my. It's not one of my top ten. Okay, well, Lila, top 10. Lila's not put it through, but Tom has. Again, as I've said about a lot of them tonight, I don't think I've put it through enthusiastically. I've put it through because I think it will go through. Um, it's not what I would choose to listen to, but there's obviously a market for it. So, yeah. Wise mm. words. Sorry, Ami. So, yeah, it was an amazing night. So, yeah, we were together for four hours and obviously um, it must have been like three in the morning where Tom was. He lives in China. Um, And, yeah, obviously Sally had to go because of Arshan. But, yeah, it was an amazing night. So, yeah, those are my thoughts and my friend's thoughts as well. So, uh, yeah, Uh, if you are still in June (laughs) and you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to my channel please do click my notification button so you're informed if and when I post videos and yeah until next time stay safe